We made a lot of updates to our Honda and our Predator, Predator 3500 and the Honda EU 3000 IS. The latest one on the Predator was we added the um, Venturi plate, I guess you'd call it, to the carburetor from nashfuels.com. And then I added, did this one a little bit simpler, and I added the hose assembly. Quick disconnect that is closed on the inside to prevent any air leaks to the carburetor. We also have the nail fitting. These fittings and piping and hosing is all from a natural gas setup for a barbecue grill that I picked up on a flea market for like five dollars. We'll see it work. Plug it in. Turn the gas on. Prime it once. Switch on. Eco mode off. Disconnect. I got my hoses. Put the hose back in there, put the cover back on. She's fine. I can flip the gas on and run it off gasoline just as quick. Also, see a note I made here? I prior video you saw the valve I put in. If I want to go with the extended tank, pop this cover forward, two screws, shut that valve off, and just turn on the uh, extended tank. And out she goes. Moving on. One other thing I want to talk about is the uh, regulator. This is the Garrison gas valve. I was going with a single stage regulator, and I found that depending on hose position, uh, length to the generator, generator to the generator, they were very inconsistent. And I don't think the throughput of the BTUs were high enough. So I picked this up for $25 on eBay. It's a two stage, and I can switch now from the Honda to the Predator without any issues, no adjustment changes. And most important, she'll go to Econo mode on the generator and back without an issue where before it would stumble and sometimes stall. So that was, this was a good investment. 